Yeah, back here on the Sportsmax Zone, Cristiano Ronaldo is magnet for headlines and the Portuguese icon is at it again today. Rumors swirling that Ronaldo has parted ways with his long-term agent, Jorge Mendes. It is understood that the relationship between the two Portuguese, which has been in place since 2003, when Mendes engineered Ronaldo's move from Sporting Lisbon to Manchester United, was broken by the player's explosive interview with Piers Morgan. It's being reported that Mendes felt that the interview made it impossible for him to secure Ronaldo a deal with another major European club. The reports say Mendes was shut out of the negotiations which saw Ronaldo sign with the biggest ever deal or the biggest ever deal in football to play for the Saudi Arabian side Al Nasser. Brent Sancho is still with us. Uh, Brent, this story is still um, carrying the line um, sources are saying, newspaper reports are saying, but it, it does look believable, doesn't it? Yeah, that's very believable. Uh, you know, it's, uh, I think a lot of what's happening with Ronaldo, of course, is, is juxtaposed against what's happening with Lionel Messi, um, who's been his rival for, for many, many years in, 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 the, in the discussion of, of the best player in the world. Uh, and because we've seen the ultimate success for Lionel Messi, the, 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 the light is now shining on Cristiano Ronaldo, and, and uh, some may say uh, some of uh, his demise is happening in front of our eyes. But listen, this is a, a man that has been consistently great for such a long time uh, that, of course, uh, moving to a club like uh, Al Nassar is, is, I don't see it as a big issue. Uh, I'm not surprised, Lance, with the fallout he's having currently with his agent, because I think when a player starts moving uh, a bit further into his career age-wise, uh, an agent uh, almost becomes obsolete. Uh, it's happened to me when I played. Uh, I started to move away from my agent when it become a bit older. So I'm not surprised that it's happening. Uh, I did. I do think that uh, Cristiano Ronaldo did engineer this move uh, with the interview that he had with, with Piers Morgan. Uh, it was solely to get himself out of contract with Manchester United and into this situation. Uh, and I, I'm very sure that uh, Mendes... Uh, would not have appreciated that uh, position. And I'm sure that Ronaldo would have had conversations with the Saudis without Mendes as well. And, and I think uh, the fractured relationship that probably was started, uh, I would suggest probably, Lance, it's, it's probably over now. Yeah, but, but you see, they're, they're, I'm happy you, you, you spoke from an experiential perspective, Brent, because there are a couple of things that people need to understand where a player and, his, and, and their agent, that relationship is concerned. There's no way, I believe, that George Mendes would have authored or set up Cristiano Ronaldo's interview with Piers Morgan for him to say the things he did and to leave Manchester United in that way because people forget George Mendes runs the most powerful player agency in world football. Cristiano Ronaldo has one career. When his career as a player is done, he can't come back. George Mendes will, of course, be looking to sell players to Manchester United decades into the future. So he can't be in a situation where he damages the relationship with Manchester United with his most high-profile client ever and put the club in a position where whomever owns the club says, say, blacklist that agent, we will never do any business with you again. And that's a significant part of the reason why Mendes would never have handled the Manchester United departure in the way it has. Secondly, the other yeah. thing is the concern is this. Ronaldo, by now, he would have known the intricacies of how to deal with his image rights, how to deal with his wages, how to deal with his commercial operations. If you notice, the reports say that his personal manager is the one who is assisting him or who assisted him with the Al Nasser things. He doesn't need an agent anymore because Mendes would have spent almost 20 years teaching him what it is that he should strike out for in negotiations, how it is that he should accept his deal being structured, how it is that his image rights are to be handled. So this was almost a natural death, a natural end to something that by this stage in Ronaldo's career, that relationship would have run its course. Yeah, that certainly would. And going back to your point, we've seen it before with agents and, and of course, with players. We saw it with Yaya Toure and his situation in Manchester City. An agent, of course, set uh, course for, for his departure at City. We saw it with Paul Pogba uh, and his situation. So agents do have to be very, very wary with their relationship with the club. Uh, going to, to the situation with, with, with Cristiano Ronaldo, look, a contract of, of Ronaldo's, uh, of, of course, the type of player that Ronaldo is, almost duplicates itself every single time. When you talk about image rights, when you talk about uh, all the various uh, situations that within that contract that he would have, it, it, the Manchester United contract will have similarity to the Real Madrid contract, 
which would have similarity to the Manchester City contract before. So he would have seen it, would have done it. I'm very sure that although uh, Mendes is his agent, Cristiano Ronaldo would have had an opinion from someone close to him, i.e., example, his, his, his representative. Uh, so you're right. There, there are people within this camp, even himself, Cristiano Ronaldo, a very experienced campaigner, would know how to deal with these sorts of situations. And I think it comes a time when a player does not need an agent. He can do things on his own, uh, particularly when you see players that have crossed the age of 35 at the latter stages of their career. They're very able, of course, to be able to, to manage their own situations moving forward. And let's not, let's not uh, of course, uh, not talk about the elephant in the room. He doesn't have to pay him. He can do it himself. And that percentage that an agent may want uh, in this Saudi deal is not going to be there. Absolutely. And, and, and I think the final point for us to make is the fact that People always look at these superstar agents, and George Mendes is a superstar agent. We can name a few others. Spinny Zahavi was a superstar agent. The late Muno Raiola, of course. Jonathan Barnett, the guy who managed the Gareth Bale's affairs when he was in Europe. These agents, we, we talk about the superstar players that they have and forget that the bulk of their stable made up of players who aren't stars. And mm -hmm. these players, you have to ensure that you have excellent relations with their club to engineer significant uh, things, benefits for them so that these players can see their way over the course of their contract. And you, you may have a 17-year-old that you want to shop to this club, or you, want, you, you have a player who's coming off an injury with a club that you want them to improve terms of, for that player despite him missing a chunk of the season, and you have to be in the club's good graces to negotiate successfully. So from a business perspective, none of the agents I have named would have approved their client doing the breakup the way Ronaldo did because that would almost mean that they could just close up their business and leave because people forget these big European clubs they have friendships across these big clubs and if the Manchester United man says listen we're locking out so and so agent so he tells that to Bayern Munich Bayern Munich talks to Barcelona and in sometimes these clubs work like that where an agent can't get any business and so Mendes would be a madman to do the, 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 the Piers Morgan interview the way Ronaldo did it. Yeah, he would not have, of course, I think when he saw it, he probably was mortified and he started to, of course, look for his exit more than Ronaldo exited him. So I think that's what transpired. I think another part of it, uh, we have to remember that Ronaldo was looking for a club that he could win uh, Champions League football for. He wanted to put more accolades, of course, on the cabinet. And uh, there's not many clubs in world football that A, can afford Cristiano Ronaldo, and of course, B, uh, the, the, the other side of it, give him the minutes that he wants guaranteed to play. When you get to that age, you want to play every single minute. Uh, and he's not guaranteed that situation. So there was not many options for Mendes to shop Cristiano Ronaldo around too. And I think people need to respect, understand that fact as well. So I think somewhere along the lines, Cristiano realized, because he could as well also, guys, pick the phone up and call any executive in world football and they will answer in the next end. And I think once he realized that that avenue was slowly closing down or quickly closing down in, in this case, uh, I think he, he had his conversations with the Saudis and, and realized that it's time to start to cash in on the type of career that he had. Hear you on that. Thank you for the time, my friend. All the best to you. We'll talk again. All right, guys. Have a great one. Good, good, good. Brent Sancho, their break time here on the Sportsmax Zone.